Hi and very warm welcome to all of my Whale Cloud family. This is Sami Mohammed, and uh, I'm the business development director in Whale Cloud. And uh, after a very long time, I have been covering this event once again, and this is uh, MWC in Barcelona. So yes, I am in Barcelona covering this event. As I've told you that we have come across with so many different uh, exciting concepts. So one of the concepts that we uh, I would like to discuss and I put like uh, I would like to have more information uh, to bring more information for the audience uh, is with regards to the AI and the cloud native solutions and uh, for for that reason I have um, requested one of my old friend Marcelo uh, who is the business uh, development uh, you know the business advisor from Whale Cloud so uh, I have I requested him to be, uh, you know, part of this vlog so that we can have um, um, more, uh, you know, information from him. Uh, hi, Marcelo. How hi, are you? Hi, Sammy. I'm good. Thank I'm you. Good. Yeah. How's the event so far for you? Yeah, very fantastic. Many customer come to our booth and we see many innovation scenarios. Great, great. Yeah. So many, many topics and uh, yeah, it's all about AI. Different AI kind yeah. of an experience yeah. and exciting. Sure, that's right. So yes, um, a real cloud also have yeah. uh, stated uh, cloud native and uh, AI native telco. That's right. So um, would you tell our audience like what does it exactly mean uh, specifically in the terms of BSS and yeah. OSS, the core sure. connectivity? Sure. And last year we also do a lot of innovation and investments to build a solid AI big data and even for cloud to serve as a digital sovereignty infrastructure. Right. So on top of that, we also innovate a lot of BSS OSS scenarios. One thing to mention is our AIGC Cortex is a GA engine, Gen AI engine to serve different diverse uh, user scenarios for tackles. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I can see that uh, you know the cloud and the AI has yeah. been part of the DTDF, like you know, kind of this is this is kind of your framework, I guess, right? That's right. So you are bringing this as a core framework uh, architecture, part of that yeah. thing, right? It's a digital infrastructure. The digital, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, okay. And um, uh, yeah. now, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, mm -hmm. uh, at one end, there is AI and the cloud native, uh, which is like, you know, openness. Mm -hmm. um, and and when, when it's IT, it's very easy to get to the openness. Uh, but when it is the telco business, uh, openness is, is kind of a quite of a challenge. So yeah, how, how with your core connectivity products, how you are bringing that kind of an openness, uh, keeping the cloud and the AI thing intact? Yeah, that's a very good question. In fact, we have multiple layers of openness to serve. The first layer, we are fully compliant with the TMF open APIs. Oh, yes, yes. We got more than 53 categories of AP API certified. Right. Another thing to uh, news to share is all via ODA ready components, which means composable architectures. It can address plug and play and can be run in the existing IT landscape. Understand. And another important thing is how to onboard the CSP's IT team to these pipelines. So we have a dev studio that can easily right. open your capabilities, development capabilities, extension points to let CSP's in-house uh, in teams to do IT development. It's a faster time to market and bring right. more uh, business agility to, to tackle customers. Okay, and w w talking about the openness in terms of the API, you said that you, we are 53 uh, mm -hmm. compliant Correct. and we are already like getting the diamond badge, right? That's right. So um, what if like, you know, if we are talking about a bit more that these are the certified standard certified, are we working on uh, to make our APIs as part of the, you know, this, this program? Because I know that they're uh, our in-house APIs as well, like uh, around 250 plus. That's right. We have around 250 more uh, APIs. The in-house APIs can be directly used by the uh, IT teams. Great. Yeah. So it means that, you know, on top of the standardized APIs, then we have those yeah. APIs which we can put into the marketplace later on. Because this concept is going towards the API market, right? Yes. And later on, maybe all of the vendor solution providers, they can have those APIs in, in, the, in the pool, in the marketplace. And anyone can have, can purchase yeah. that uh, API and use the experience, right? Yes. So we are trying to build a tech or a service. As approach. a service. Exactly. Yeah, to this expose is. your IT capabilities, EKYC capabilities, and also message as a service to serve the industrial needs and, of course, bring more revenue strength. Perfect. So telecom as a service, yeah, right? That's yeah. Exactly. The, this, the marketplace. This, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's yeah. the marketplace that we're talking about. But having said so, um, AI mm -hmm. is very good. 
of course. AI, but the main question that comes in my mind, whether AI can come all of a sudden, or should it be case by case, or you know, experience? Yeah. What is what is your uh, will yeah. take on that? That's a good question as well. So actually, we built a very powerful AI GC Cortex. It's a Gen AI engine to serve the tackle customers. So it's a pre-integrated with the data APIs. And uh, in the left side, you can see we are very easy to integrate it with third party openness, large language models and the private ones. Okay. But one challenge is that the large language models open it, the public one, I mean, they do not have a knowledge of the tag industry. Oh, yes. yes. Yes, of course. That's why we built a real large language models that can be locally deployment with the knowledge of different industries and to serve the diversifying uh, scenarios for customer service, for marketing, for business operation, and even we have digital humans, right? Yeah. To enhance the ultimate experiences for users and the productivity for business users as well. So yeah. it means that now the AI agents will be talking more in the telecom language. So you That's have been correct. training them for the telecom keywords and on top of the generic data that can be taken from the open chat GPTs or open yeah. languages, you have your private language which can be localized, right? Yeah, correct. Understand. And also we have a gen trusted Gen AI gateway to cover yes. the privacy uh, okay. issues. Yeah, okay. It's very fully secure, controllable to serve different industries as well. And even tech they can monetize these services to serve their own customers like government or verticals as well. So what do you think? Uh, you think that AI is going to be the future? Uh, uh, sure, the sure, sure, of course. And your call side, we are definitely invest more and more on this path to enhance the ultimate experiences for our users and create more mysteries for tackles. Yeah. Great. Thank you so very much, Marcelo, for giving us your time. Yeah. Guys, you have, you have seen, uh, you have listened to our business uh, advisor and uh, he strongly believed that AI is the future within the telecom space and Veil Cloud is uh, going to be investing, it already has invested and it will be investing more and more uh, in order to make it more powerful and to serve, keep on serving something to our telecom operators and beyond across industries. Uh, this is Sami Muhammad signing off with a strong message that we have TAS and we have uh, AI related telco service on top of the core connectivity. Thank you so very much.